Kano is one of Nigeria's largest cities. It attracts migrants from throughout the northern part of the country. Its population grows every day. In May 2014, mudslides occurred in a remote village in Afghanistan. The number of deaths is uncertain, varying from 350 to 2,700. According to the UN, the actual death toll may never be known due to the catastrophic nature of the event and the fact that no accurate population count exists. Knowing not only how many people there are, but who they are, where they are, and how best to reach them are challenges confronting humanitarian efforts in crowded cities like Kano, as well as in small villages around the world. Geographic information is essential. It must be fast and accurate to enable aid workers to estimate the extent of a crisis and effectively respond. And it must be current and spatially explicit to support prevention efforts, to target at-risk populations, and ensure that resources are used efficiently. The problem is, how to achieve that kind of critical population data when spatially explicit demographic information is lacking for much of the world. Existing global land cover data are too coarse to capture small settlements or provide much in the way of detail in large urban areas. Also, cultural settlement characteristics can vary significantly from region to region. Recent developments at Oak Ridge National Laboratory are addressing the need for improved human settlement detection and characterization at the world scale. Since 1997, we have been producing the global population database, LandScan Global. LandScan Global combines spatial data and imagery analysis with the latest census findings and updated political boundaries to provide an accurate and unprecedented population value of every square kilometer of landmass on Earth. In 2000, we extended the LandScan Global Population Distribution Model and developed LandScan USA. As opposed to the model-based approach of LandScan Global, LandScan USA is a data-driven or bottom-up approach that maps existing infrastructure from a large number of data sets to describe human activities in space and time. That critical infrastructure includes schools, hospitals, and prisons. As a result, LandScan USA is the first ever time-variant population distribution database. At 90 meters resolution, LandScan USA describes a nighttime residential population as well as daytime population distribution. Both LandScan USA and LandScan Global are updated every year to incorporate new spatial data and imagery analysis and have emerged as the community standard for estimating at-risk populations in a wide range of applications such as human security, disaster relief, and emergency preparedness and response. Our goal now is to provide to the world what we are providing to the U.S., what we are calling LandScanned HD a map of human settlement at 90 meter resolution worldwide. In recent years, we have made significant breakthroughs in the science of mapping human settlement. The two-level process uses computer vision techniques and local area statistics on high resolution imagery to extract information on settlements and to characterize them at unprecedented speed and accuracy. Level one involves finding settlements for this settlement extraction in Kano, Nigeria, we were able to automatically detect settlements in some 13,000 square kilometers of half-meter panchromatic imagery at a verified and validated accuracy rate of 80%, represented here in green. This settlement extraction of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, performed on a high-end desktop workstation, was produced from sub-meter resolution satellite images covering 800 square kilometers that amounted to some 40,000 by 40,000 pixels, which were analyzed and settlements extracted in under 30 seconds. The overall accuracy of the detection output was 93%, with 89% accuracy in detecting areas of settlements and 94% accuracy in detecting areas of non-settlement. Analysis and characterization at this level of speed and accuracy has big implications for scaling up the process to world scale. Once settlements are identified, they are put through a second level of processing. 
At level two, settlements are divided into neighborhoods and characterized. For example, distinctions are made among residential, commercial, and industrial areas. And residential areas are broken into neighborhood classifications, such as high, middle, and low socioeconomic. Key to the identification of these areas is deciphering the orientation of edges. Orthogonal edge patterns denote formal or planned housing areas, as opposed to the less structured appearance of informal housing areas. Distinctions between tall buildings and short buildings can also aid in the characterization of a neighborhood and the prediction of its population makeup and density. This video demonstrates the speed at which settlements are extracted and classified. Again, at level one, buildings are located. At level two, areas of the settlement are characterized based on the different neighborhoods. The process makes use of various settlement type models, such as rural or urban, that exist in a particular country. The models are executed on different high-resolution images to rapidly exploit the low-level features in the imagery that are used to identify and characterize settlements. The high-performance computers employed in the operation require only a few training models for success. Neighborhood classifications based on their characteristics are strong indicators of socioeconomic strength, allowing us to separate the slum from the affluent. The final step in the process is to determine the number of people in the different types of buildings. For the past 10 years, we have been actively engaged in a project to develop population density tables. The tables provide the occupancy or the density of people per 1,000 square feet over different types of facilities, everything from upper-class homes and tents to public markets and cemeteries, office buildings and bus depots. In addition to census data, socio-cultural information related to family size and income and other demographic information are used to help determine how many people are expected per building. Open source materials such as journal articles, newspaper reports, and real estate information are drawn in as well. This population distribution of Bahrain is the product of numerous sources, including land use and land cover information, volunteer geographic information, and high-resolution imagery. Combined, they produce nighttime and daytime, as well as an average or ambient population distribution. As the demand for improved spatially explicit data has grown, so too has the laboratory's high-performance computing capability. In one minute, 2,000 square kilometers can be settlement mapped and characterized, with results ready for use. That's the equivalent of the entire city of Lahore. More than 700 trillion pixels of half-meter resolution imagery cover the Earth's habitable land area. To process, analyze, and characterize that amount of data into accurate and relevant information in a format that can be understood and applied by first responders, aid workers, resource managers and planners, and ultimately policy and decision makers, is a charge that is not only formal, but imperative. At Oak Ridge National Laboratory, we are committed to moving forward in our research and development of our three population databases, LandScan Global, LandScan USA, and LandScan HD, ensuring that the world's populations are accurately and rapidly accounted for, not missed amongst the crowds, or lost to the massiveness of the Earth.